interesting to see what uh, impact that has is now on Woking. Clearly their confidence uh, very fragile coming into this match. Under pressure again now. Oh, and that's late from Sanford. I think it might only be yellow because there was a little bit of cover in behind him for the Woking captain. Desperate times for Woking now. I think five minutes before half-time they need to shut up shop as they have done for the opening 38, 39 minutes and just stop Yeovil from scoring again because uh, it could uh, open the floodgates. Looks like it's going to be the left foot of Michael McIndoe. Way and Johnson are there as well. It is McIndoe! Wonderful, wonderful finish, isn't it? I've seen him do it before. Excellent at dead ball situations. And well, I don't think Steve Farley had a chance. There we see it from behind the goal. Not a chance. In off that near post. Fantastic finish. But for me, in some ways, Woken have got themselves to blame. They've sat back. They played one up front, or possibly two at times. And they've come here, tried to close the door, possibly in a little bit of fear because of the goals they've let in recently.